Uh, good evening once again to everyone. Uh, it was a tactical game. Uh, I tried to give opportunity to other young ones and uh, we tried to change the team. I put new players, seven players, and uh, I think uh, I'm proud of them because uh, uh, what we wanted, we're getting there slowly. And uh, the players, I mean, they, they did tremendous well. Uh, I need to salute them because no one uh, thought that we would go far like this. But also at the same time, uh, we're looking into building a team. So that helps us to give an eye and to see how we can move forward. We know we need to improve on our finishing. And uh, the rest, I think it's, it's there, it's getting, it's okay. But overall, I think the team played uh, well, technically, tactically. Though today, I think, uh, my opinion, we didn't move the ball quicker, we didn't play long. Uh, I think South Africa, uh, they were also on and off, on and off. But uh, I think I was happy with the performance of the boys. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's a lottery. Anyone can win penalties, but uh, congratulations to South Africa. No, overall, we are a team, but because the best way of defending is attacking. Because our team have been attacking a lot. If you look, that's why we get so many opportunities. And what helps us also more is organization. Because if you just sit back and start to defend, then you can cause fouls, penalties, free kicks. If you look at our team, we never do that. We are a team whereby we manage the ball well, and we try to attack the team as soon as possible with speed, and at the same time, we try to end up the play to open this half. So that helps us not to allow the opponent to come to us because we are attacking them, the team. We, we never sit down, we never park the buses at the back. We are a team whereby we want to entertain people, and we wanted to do well also to try to put the team always on toss. Uh, look, in football as a coach, it's normal because you need the results. So there's a certain time you have to go emotion, but uh, we control ourselves. It's just something that it's there, you can't control it. So obviously, as the game goes, I think you could see there's so many things that are happening try to, to, to try to push my players, but obviously you need to control yourself. There's nothing that was happening. It was a good show, South Africa got a good display, and uh, we also did our best. I think overall, it was a good game. I mean, uh, it's amazing. If you look, each and every game we played, many of the match always come from our team. So that tells you something, that the team is doing something right. Because all this game until today, we play against, uh, 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 almost five games, if I'm not mistaken. But we have five man, matches, uh, man of the match from our team. So I need to give credit to my boys. I'm proud of them. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> Um, credit to the team, uh, the association, um, and everybody, the technical team. Um, uh, we, we, we did our best uh, despite all the challenges we had during our preparation. But uh, I'm happy with, with what we, we did today, uh, getting that spot. We, we, we could have done better, but uh, I'm happy with the effort. And... Um, it was a game of two halves. They had their, their first 45 minutes, and we had to try and, and, and come up with another plan in the second half because uh, they were waiting for us to commit numbers and try to play on a counter, which I think all the games we have played, uh, we have played against counter-attack in all the matches. But uh, I think the boys responded so well. Some of them were playing for the first time today. They did well, and I'm happy with, with the effort and uh, like I said, uh, so much uh, has, has, has happened for us and so many lessons for us. And I'm happy with all the lessons that we have gained in this tournament. Let's talk about the lessons, the last part of your response. What will be your takeaway from Kozapa Cup 2023? Standard of football in the southern region is, grow is growing. And uh, it, 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 it says a lot to us to say, uh, we need also to, to keep the, the, the level of competition very high. And at the same time, we need to understand that um, some of the guys who are here come from, from, from a background of not maybe kicking football for the entire season. And you are bringing them here, you give them minutes and all of that. But like I said, one of the things that I really need to applaud them was the character and the attitude and the lesson from this 
was the fact that uh, nothing beats preparation. We tried our level best with all the challenges we had to push the team towards the right direction. And, and, and uh, that sport, to be honest, yes, we are happy, but it's not a true reflection of, of how hard we worked. Yeah, we, 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 we are aware that Kumete was, we went to change the system. And changing the system with the demands of the game, we couldn't take Uso as a right fullback. Uh, Kumete already was sitting on a yellow, and he's a young boy. He, he, the, 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 the intensity was very high, so he would easily uh, got the second yellow. So we had to save him. And then the other sub was to try and, and uh, bring someone up there because we are aware that uh, the, the connection between Victor and, and Seho was not giving us something. So we had to try and bring in Reina. So that is why, if you check in the second half, we're playing a different system, more of your 4 2 2 2 because we wanted to try and crowd the central zone, play more into those half spaces. It's just unfortunate that with all the opportunities we created in the second half, we could not just get one. Honestly speaking, uh, we, have, we had a good mix here. Young players who are still going to be part of uh, the team in the future. And those that are in a level where we say they're in a cycle where they need to compete regularly with with the rest of the guys in the Bafana. And obviously, um, the, 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 there has to be a, a, a very good handover to say, Mtetwa can help us with one, two, three, four, Letwa, Lord, Seho, and all of that. So obviously, my wish is to see some of them getting an opportunity to impress Coach Hugo. And again, some of them I would really wish to see them playing, especially Yopuso, Kumete, Palais, they are still young. They need to get an opportunity, especially on the under 23s. So those are some of the things that I think uh, already when we were sitting down doing this team, we we're also thinking of the under 23, thinking of, of Bafana as, uh, uh, at the same time. So I believe that uh, there are those that will get an opportunity and there are those that will also be uh, developed for future like your Puso, he, at his age, has been able to get a call up and, and has got a cap. So that's very good for us. Yo, what, what, what the question? You know, I, 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 I never thought that uh, you guys are aware that we took almost 80% of guys who were not playing for the whole season. And uh, honestly speaking, uh, it wouldn't be nice to say we took a risk. But I think we, we, we wanted to expose them and say to clubs, here are these guys with good and, and with talent. So let's give them an opportunity. And I believe that clubs will come for them. They have done well. Uh, even those that were not playing in their different clubs. Mohammed did so well. Uh, I believe that uh, if, if there's a future center left in the country, uh, Mohammed deserves an opportunity, maybe at Mamelodi Sundowns or somewhere else. To me, I think we, we gave them an opportunity we tried our level best to help them with their confidence. It was not easy. Even if you can check today, some of them you could see, like Kobe, you were struggling in the first 45 minutes. So if you're not playing regularly, there are so many things that happens in between. You lose the confidence, like say, well, as much as he has scored, but let's be honest, he has not been playing for the entire season. So uh, we tried our level best to help where we can. And that's what I'm saying. It is important also, as much as we throw stones to, to the association and look back and say, they looked after these guys when no one could because we, they were given an opportunity to come and play in this tournament where everybody could see them. And, and I'm happy with the attitude they, they presented to these guys as well. Yo, it was not, it was not easy. But I think I always say it's an advantage if you, if you have coached uh, amateur football because sometimes you don't, have, you don't get all your players for training sessions. You sometimes get your best players during matches and you need to try and, and, and combine the group so that they go into the field and try to play together. We had to do a lot of uh, coaching. We had to do a lot of uh, presentations in terms of how they need to do things. Even yesterday when we had an activation, 
we, we wanted to play the 3-4-3 three, three, three we were playing today. We had to do it in that, that space of time. But the good thing about these guys, they are coachable and they are willing also to, to learn. And, and I think uh, as much as it was difficult for you as a coach to, to push them because some of them lacked confidence, but the attitude was positive. And when the attitude is positive, it's easy for you to work as a coach. Yes, we, we had a chat about, about the, the performance of the team. And uh, obviously, when we were doing our analysis, we look at all the challenges maybe we had. But the good thing is that um, uh, he, wa he has been following the game and he has seen the kind of players we are having here. So it is also giving him an opportunity to, to see where he can add. Because when you make your profile, the first thing that you do is to say, I have this group that has been playing together. The current group of Bafana Bafana has been playing together for quite some time. So if the guys that were playing in this Kosafa needs to come in, obviously they will be maybe third or second best. So obviously he will have to take it from there. But he's very happy with what he has seen. Unfortunately, there's no time for me to take a holiday because um, on the 18th of August, we are playing uh, KEF Champions League qualifiers. So obviously, I, I don't have time. It's a few days uh, going back, then uh, start preparing the team for, 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 the, for the preliminary games of uh, KEF Champions League. Honestly speaking, our football, that's why I said football in the Sadek region is growing. Uh, we, if you look at all the coaches who are here, one, uh, the standard requirement was that all of them should have a proper qualification, which was your CAFA. And obviously, you look at them and see that they are very professional when they do things. And you look at the teams, all the teams which were here, they were very competitive. Today, we are watching uh, the final of Botswana, Lesotho and, and Zambia. It simply says football is growing and no one, let's be honest, no one ever expected that uh, Lesotho will be in the final. They are in the final because they are working hard. So it simply says coaches are doing their part. And also, as much as we we'll complain as coaches because of maybe some decisions, but the referees as well, they try their best. They will make mistakes just like us will make, make a wrong substitution. But to be honest, I'm happy with the standard of, of football in this tournament.